Sonic's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? If you're not, too bad. Honey Pop 2 Double Date. Here we go. Honey Pot presents. According to legends passed down from ages long past. An era of darkness and destruction draws near. Deep within the endless sea of stars, stirs an ancient evil forgotten by time. The Nymphogen. Spirits of limitless lechery lying dormant in the cosmos. Awoken only once, every 10,000 years by a cosmic super period of unspeakable PMS. With symptoms so severe and desires so destructive, entire galaxies have been consumed by the chaos. It is said that only a hero of unparalleled prowess can overcome the insatiable lust of the demonic pair and return them peacefully to a satisfied slumber. As the dreaded day looms upon an unsuspecting world, no such savior has risen to stand against the threat, and Earth is left defenseless against certain doom. Wait... Actually, I might know somebody. Oh, here we are. Your apartment on Tuesday night. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Uh, huh? Thanks, man. I really needed that. I didn't put you through and I'm not gonna put you through this. You're going through this. Um, oh, hey, here we are. What no cuddling? What can I say? I'm always happy to have a girl with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you are, you animal. <sighs> Listen, I'd love to stick around and watch your dick shrink, but I got a split. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this Teleuber chick for a cross promo we've been planning. <sighs> it's not easy being a world class fashion model, you know? <clears throat> do you think that's our. I mean, that's what we had to do in the first game! <laughs> you think that's our try being a world class piece of woman? Can't argue with you there. You do know your way around a vag. And, uh, well, a couple of other places. <clears throat> now, where did you throw my clothes? Ah, there they are. No, that sucks. Fuck. Well, aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Twould be my honor. Shall I carry your belongings to? No. Yeah, of course, just let me throw on something real quick. You know what? Only if I could get a kiss goodnight! Do I need to remind you where my mouth has been? You might want to take a rain check on that. Yeah. Later, sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and hard for me for when I get back. Sweet cheeks? Hmm. It's being called sweet cheeks. Well, though. well, well, look at this motherfucker. I leave you alone for a year or two and you're banging models on the reg? <sighs> I really am a miracle worker. Look who's back. Can I perchance interest in some <laughs> sloppy <laughs> seconds? Ugh, oh, man. Cool. Gail, holy shit, where have you been? I missed you! Well, this is Sonic's first time seeing Q, so, um... Um, hey. I think this is every everyone's answer because it's been fucking six years. I keep on smashing him in the face. I missed you! What? You think you're my only client? There's a lot of virgins out there. 
Not sure. None of them picked it up quite as fast as you, though. <laughs> That's actually kind of why I'm here. Look, I'm gonna cut right to the chase because time isn't exactly on our side here. Some seriously crazy shit is about to pop off and we need your help to stop it. Sonic, we just need to give her the help that we need. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll do it. I have a lot of girls in pain this week. You can't find anybody else. As long as this somehow involves my genitalia, I'm in. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about, but we'll do it. I'm glad you feel that way because I definitely wasn't giving you a choice. Well, fuck. To make a long story short, there are these two, like, evil space hookers that are about to be awoken. And if they don't get some wicked good dick, they're probably gonna destroy the galaxy. And that would really suck because Earth has some of the finest babes in the universe, next to Tendricide. Who's you see, Tendri part of my job as a love fairy is to find a worthy hero among all the pathetic virgins. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one, so you'll have to do instead. Consider it done and me and Har could have be I've nailed the spaceship control. That is a great point because that happened in the first game. It's an honor to be chosen for this most sacred duty. I'll do my best. I know you're saying important stuff, but that camel toe is making it very difficult to focus. That this actually brings up something. Cause I think the subtitles were supposed to be there intentionally, because do I need to censor? Already? Because this game's gonna have a lot of that. Also, by the way, I'm looking at this apartment. It looks good. I need, I need, I need this to be my background. Consider it done, I mean. How hard could it be? I've never a spaceship before. I strongly advise you not to underestimate just how horny these semen demons can be. I'll be honest with you, man. The higher ups are concerned about your lack of experience with threesomes. But I told him you're a quick learner. Besides, you did bag the fucking goddess of love. That's gotta count for something, right? So, put on some goddamn underwear and pack your bags. Our flight leaves first thing in the morning. You got it. Give me five minutes, I'll be packed and ready to go. Uh, am I allowed to ask where we're going? Wait, you don't want to sit down and catch up? I haven't seen you in forever. I possibly may know what she's been up to for the past damn six years. Um, yeah, where where are we going? You let me worry about that. You just worry about looking pretty. Mama Sugar Dust will take care of everything. Nice. Can you believe Mama it, Mama Sugar man? Dust. The old team back together again for another sexy adventure. I know this was the Honey Pop 1 theme. I like that rendition. I can't believe you humans have to get into big machines just to do something as simple as flying. I hate to say it, but if it wasn't for all the honey you guys generate, you'd be pretty useless. <laughs> Are you going to tell me where we're going yet? I'll remind you that it's a human and a hedgehog about to save the galaxy. Saving the galaxy for the third time, by the way, because we did, because I did that in Halo 3 and Super Mario Galaxy. Um, what about porn? We generate a lot of that too. Mm, yeah, good point. You guys do make some pretty nasty ass shit. That's true. Anyway, this is probably a good time to fill you in on the plan, huh? Oh yeah. We are headed to the beautiful tropical island of Ina de Puna. Ina Why, de Puna. You may ask. Yes. Shh, I'm getting to that. You can ask questions when I'm done. Okay. You see, the Nymphogen, those are the space hookers are on the verge of being awoken by their period. If that happens, you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. So, we need to wake them up before that. There's a volcano on the island called Mount Nymphojaro. Yeah, I don't know who names this shit. <laughs> if we can get that volcano to erupt, it should be enough to awaken the Nymphogen early. But, the only way to get that bitch to blow is to offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice of fairy wings. I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell are fairy wings? Yeah, fucking what? I told you to stop asking questions. You ever hear the phrase, 
Whenever a threesome is had, a love fairy gets her wings. No. Yeah, well, that's actually true. So we need to get you mixed up in some menage a trois. As much as I'd fucking love to be more involved, unfortunately, love fairies don't count. But why? Besides, corporate said I have to stop fucking my clients. Can you believe that shit? <sighs> now look, locking down a three-way can be tricky. The best way to do it is by going on double dates. Not the lame kind of double date where it's two couples. The cool kind where it's you and two chicks. You'll need some fresh love fairy tech though. That crusty ass honeybee 4.0 is way out of date. Oh yeah. So, da 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 da. Introducing <laughs> the brand new Honeybee 6XL with threesome compatibility detection package. Long name. Go ahead, check it out. When you're done, you can close it by clicking anywhere off the honeybee. Oh, here we are. Oh yeah, the familiar pairs. That's new. Store stats. Girls and finder. These are the two familiar ones to me. I think gifts. The only thing I packed, okay. You can also open and close the honeybee with a simple middle click or tap of the space bar. So, uh, yeah. Taking advantage of middle click. That's pretty much my entire spiel. Well, for now, at least. Any questions? No, that seems very straightforward to me. Did they really say you had to stop banging your clients? It's some bullshit new rule they have. Huh. I know. If you're disappointed, imagine how I feel. I can feel you very well. I thought I heard a familiar voice back here. Hey, stranger. Long time no see. If it isn't Lola Rembrandt. No yes, way. I remember her last name. Isn't she that tight-ass flight attendant you used to bang? Yes! Oh, man, can I book a flight or what? Small world, huh? Shut up. I never thought I'd bump into you on one of my routes. By the way, uh, who were you talking to? Oh. oh no. <laughs> That's right. I'm invisible. You must look like a crazy person back here. You should probably change the subject before it gets any more awkward. E that sounds Hey Lola, I didn't know you still work for Tropica Airlines. That's the airline company you work for? Okay. It's good to see you. <clears throat> what are you up to these days? Wow, I really like your new uniform. That... God fucking damn it. Why am I looking at those? Um, actually, you know what? Let's start off with a compliment. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Why, thank you. I designed it myself. I thought the old one could use a little more... less. True. Believe it or not, I started my own little fashion design business. I have a website and everything. It's still young, though, so I don't want to quit my day job just yet. Enough about me, though. Let's talk about you. What brings you out to Ina de Puna? Wait, why are you here? Um, I'm, just, I'm looking to score some of that sweet tropical tang. True, I thought I'd treat myself to a nice vacation. Honestly, you wouldn't believe me if I told you that... I sh honestly, yeah, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> okay, you. Go ahead and keep your dirty secrets. I'm actually going to be enjoying a little time off on the island myself. I'm meeting up with an old friend of mine for a little vacay we've been planning forever. I may know who that is. So... You want to join the Mile High Club? What the hell's a Mile... What the hell's a Mile High... Lola Rembrandt, you naughty, naughty. Already? <laughs> Was that some kind of rewards program? And no thanks. What? This is a one time opportunity. Um. Is that some kind of rewards program? Mm, something like that. <laughs> it's definitely rewarding. I'm gonna pretend I have to go to the bathroom, but I'll leave the door unlocked. Wait a couple minutes so you don't raise any suspicion, okay? Bro, we haven't even landed yet and you're already scoring ass? 
Maybe this chick isn't as uptight as I thought. This is actually a great opportunity for me to teach you about double dates. What do you say? I didn't know how double dates work. Nah, we never been on double date. So let's do this. All right. Well, let's head in there. We don't want to keep her waiting, do we? Oh, we don't want to keep her waiting, dude. We're still in the prologue. The tutorial day in the bathroom. I know this is honey cam. I've been so busy working. I don't even know how long it's been since I've gotten any. Ah uh, yes. All right, I'll try to make this quick because I know we all just want to get to the good part. You remember how dates work, right? Yes. Well, double dates are similar with a few key differences. The goal is still the same. You want to fill up the affection meter before you run out of moves. You do that by matching three or more of these tokens either horizontally or vertically. Okay. Well, affection tokens to be exact. Affection tokens are the circular ones with symbols on them. Like those three flirtation tokens over there. Go ahead and match those. You know, the green ones in the middle of the grid there, with the stars on them. Now, the biggest difference with double dates is, obviously, that there's two chicks. You gotta learn how to divide your time and attention between both girls. It can be a bit tricky. Right. right now, you're focused on me. To switch over to her, all you gotta do is click on her. Right. Easy sleazy! Now that you're focused on her, all the matches you perform will go to her. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find some talent tokens for you to match. Oh, in the bottom channel. left hand corner, the blue ones with the music notes on them. Oh yeah, you can do that. Of course, bigger matches such as four or more in a row will also give you more affection. Switch focus back over to me and I'll show you. You can use right click as a shortcut. Try it. There's a four hmm. of a kind romance token match somewhere on the grid. I'll let you find it. In case you forgot, romance tokens are the orange ones with the crescent shapes on them. <laughs> the thing with bigger matches that you gotta watch out for is that they also cost more stamina. My stamina is looking pretty low right now, so let's find some stamina tokens to match. There, in the top right corner of the grid, match those stamina tokens. The white pentagon things. Oh, these are stamina tokens. Oh, that's better. The last thing you want to happen is for a girl to run out of stamina. If that happens, she'll be completely exhausted until her stamina fully recovers. I'm sure you remember the other token types, but I'll give you a quick refresher just in case. Please. The gold bells are called joy tokens. They give you extra moves. You can't beat that. Okay, there's moves The right pink there. hearts are called passion tokens. Matching those increases a girl's passion. The higher her passion is, the more affection she'll give from affection token matches. Broken hearts work a bit Pink differently hearts, yeah. on double dates, but you still want to avoid them at all costs. How are they Matching different? Matching broken hearts will instantly drain a girl's stamina and put her in a bad mood. That's not even the worst part of it either. You want to know the worst part? What? If both girls are angry or exhausted, you're done. Yup, you failed. The date's over. So don't do that, okay? Okay. There's no reason to lose. Everything? Can I shut up now? <laughs> no, wait. Date gifts. Duh. How do I always forget about date gifts? I'm sure you didn't pack any, so I got you covered. Switch focus back over to her, will ya? Boop. Here. She might like this one. It's from Honey Corp's newest line of date plushies. As oh. usual, she'll need some sentiment before you're able to give her the date gift. Sentiment. I'll let you find a good sentiment token match. You're looking for the teal-colored teardrops. This is Fox Plush moves all broken heart tokens from the grid. Okay. So, uh, boink. Perfect! That should be enough. You can give her the plushie now. Just drag it over to her. Okay, it only costs four sentiment. There you go. Honey Corp has tons of new and classic date gifts for sale. So try them all. Try one, try and all. And that's it. Well, those are most of the basics of double dating anyway. 
Okay. I know it's a lot to take in, but don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. Now finish up this date so we can do what we came here to do. Or rather, who we came here to do. <laughs> hmm. I'll make sure you can't fail this one. Just try not to screw it up too bad, okay? Okay, so I can see a... This... Cost three stamina. Now so. you're getting it! Okay. Oh, so... I remember Passion having, like, levels. And now it's a percentage, okay. It makes more sense that be it, like, a... Percentage. Than just... Than just, um... Let's face, uh, level. But, um, this is completely new stuff. Uh, stamina is interesting. Hmm. Bop. Ooh. Look at this. Now, I've played puzzle games before, and... I've seen Honey Pop, and I've seen what the game is about. Um, but I never played it. This... I know, I've played Honey Pop 1 before this game came out. Um, it's good. I mean, it's very infamous, because, you know, it's a dating sim. And... Excellent! Their new voice clips, I believe. And this is new to the entire public world. But, um... The gameplay is very interesting, though. And it's a step up better than Honey Pop 1, I'll say that right now. Um... Great work. Thank you. Um... I got enough moves to make it through. And, um... Yeah, it's what, what I, from what I can remember, it, it, it was a very good game. Um, for it being very, very freaking infamous though. But um, anyways, let me just make this match, and we're done. Seeds. Well, are we just gonna sit and catch up, or are you gonna take that thing out? All right. Oh boy. Now it's time for Sonic, the you can't watch. bonus no. round. This is the part where you fug the girls. Unfortunately, I have to sit this one out, or I'll have to go through absolutely. Keep your eyes covered. Again. But Absence the training. bonus round is pretty simple. Just forget everything I just taught you about double date. I think. And match tokens as fast as you can. It doesn't matter which ones, just keep matching. What's the bonus round again? Try not to stop or slow down. Getting two girls to climax simultaneously requires oh. some serious sex tearing. I remember! The animation's up too. All I can say is get ready for sensors. Boink. Oh god. Oh god. Sonic, you can't watch this. Just let me watch this. No! Oh god, I'm worried. Oh, Jesus. Uh, performance anxiety fucked me over every time. Oh, we're done. Put my whole webcam over that whole... Balls. Okay, I'm gonna take a look oh, at that later. Shit! Was I way too loud? Fuck, I was trying to keep it down. Whew. Great work! I couldn't have boned her better myself. Well, maybe a little better. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, well... That's first embarrassment of the game, everybody. Many more. Glad you didn't see that. Well, that was certainly... refreshing. <laughs> Hopefully nobody saw us well, walk out together. Around. Oh, I saw a lot more than that. 
Perfect timing, too. Looks like we're about to begin our descent. I better go take my seat. You still have my number, right? Give yes. me a ring so we can meet up on the island. Mwah! By the way, you're probably wondering why a bunch of fruit popped out of us after you're the day, huh? Yeah, well, please explain out that. Well, here in the tropics, honey takes a slightly different form than you're used to. Instead of that weird pink jelly stuff, it manifests as what we call honey seeds. Honey Don't seeds. worry, you can still use them to buy gifts and other useful items from the honeybee. Oh. Oh, that... look! There it is! I can see the island! We're almost there! Mmm, mmm, mmm! I can practically taste all that delicious clam already! Welcome to Ina de Puna! Ah, uh, Ina de Puna, where the melons are juicy and the fish are plenty. Oh boy. Can we take a. Okay, can you go five minutes without making one innuendo, please, for the love of Christ? What? That's literally the slogan for the island. It's oh. right there on the sign behind you. Oh. Also, no. Fuck. What the fuck is that? Hey, look over there. Isn't that your little sex buddy from home? Oh. How convenient is that? It's Ashley. Hello. Um, dude, stalk much? <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. Well, you can't be around human girls. It's uh, kind of hard to explain what I'm doing here. I just couldn't stand to be without me, huh? Well, who could blame you? Dude, if you wanted to fly out here with me, all you had to do was ask. Shut up. If I'd have known you were coming, I wouldn't have had to explain my vibrator to security. Oh my god. I love her. <laughs> you already have an in with this chick, too. Now all we gotta do is convince her to have a three-way. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hey Ash, are you down for a three-way? Did you fly all the way out here to ask me that? Yeah. Of course I'm down for a three-way. You better find us a hot girl though. I only scissor sevens and up. Bro, where did you find this chick? I want one. I have some business no. stuff to take care of out here, but I should have plenty of free time too. I'm staying at... What was the name? Oh, the hotel. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely Hotel. Uh. What a coincidence! That's exactly where we'll be staying too! Anyway, I should probably go find my luggage. Catch you later, Sweet Cheeks. Oh man, sweet cheeks. I am definitely sneaking into her room at night to get a whiff of that. No, you're not. Speaking of which, we should go check in before it gets too late. Come on, let's go! We, we should get checked in. Whew! Getting checked in for the night. Pretty sweet digs, huh? If you're gonna try to save the galaxy, you might as well do it in style. I mean, Mario can do that, or Good Master evening. Chief. Welcome to Lovely Hotel. My name is Lailani. How may it be of service? I can think of a few ways this cutie pie could be of service to me. <laughs> We're just checking in. Oh, you are? Okay, uh, perhaps I need to double check. But I don't remember seeing any more reservations in the system for tonight. Shit! I knew I forgot to do something. Do I need to sleep uh, up? Not a problem, though. I'm sure we can find the appropriate accommodations for you. What kind of room are you looking for? One with a bed. I'll take any room you have that's available. Give me the most expensive and luxurious room you've got. That's our business. Oh. That's too for it, honestly. Ah, let's go with it. Give me the most expensive and luxurious room you've got. Oh, uh, that would be the royal suite. I'm afraid that room isn't available tonight. Well, but shit. I do have a great room for you on the second floor. It has a nice view and a big bed. I think you'll find it to be quite suitable. Excuse me briefly while I retrieve your key card. All right, can't wait for this to take twenty minutes. Okay, you're all set. Here's your key card. The room number is written on the back. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what we're here for. 
Nice. We're good for now. Thanks, Leilani. That, no. Honestly? I would really like a massage. I think you'll be quite happy to learn that we have a massage bar right here within the resort. Nice. You can go there anytime to make an appointment with one of our therapists. He might even get me. <laughs> the elevator is behind you to your right. Enjoy your stay and have a wonderful night. The adventure begins! Morning, sunshine. I hope you slept well, because we've got a full day of double dates ahead of us. You remember how the honeybee registers the girls you meet and tracks their location, right? Yes. Well, now it can also detect the presence of girls that you haven't even met yet. Just open up the Girl Finder app and select a location where two girls are going to be. The honeybee will automatically detect if the girls are compatible with each other. If they are, you can probably coax them into a threesome. But it might take a date or two. I'm going to leave this here. So, this is going to do it for the first episode of Honey Pablo 2 Double Dates. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. Hey there, everybody. It's me and Sonic. And um, before we end off the first episode of this playthrough, I'd just like to say thank you guys very much for your patience over the past few months, and I honestly am bewildered. Bill, Bill will bewildered by all this and for being 18 for the past five months it's been fucking incredible <laughs> started out with honey pop and look look what i'm doing now at 18 holding a goddamn plush and doing a damn playthrough <laughs> but anyways uh this is after all the honey pop 2 recordings and um i just want to say Honey Dev, voice actresses, if you're watching this, thank you very much for this being, for making this game possible, and after, this is being recorded after the 1.1 uh, update, where uh, we got to see Polly's uh, beep beep finally, <laughs> but um, seriously though, um, I can't thank you, Honey Dev, enough, Ryan Coons, and the whole shebang. It has been a wild month, almost two months since I did those recordings. That started all the way back in March of this year, and it's it's been a long journey. I just gotta say that right now. The editing was hard, the editing sucked, but in the end it turned out to be very good from what I've seen. Uh, I've yet to export the finale. <laughs> but um, we'll just see how that goes from there. So um, again, thank you guys very much for watching the first episode of LA Plays Honey Pop 2 Double Day with Sonic the Hedgehog. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you all in the next episode. Here's to 17 more episodes with a sip of Mountain Dew. Hold on. I don't care if it's cringe, I'm doing this for the end of the recording. Woo! Here's just more episodes. Okay. Bye!